Hello writers! I have a very short writing lesson for you today and then you can keep writing in your wonderful fiction stories that you've been working on. Remember yesterday we said one of our goals was that our picture and our words would tell the story. You have been showing me really great work when you post your uh, writing pages on Seesaw. I see a lot of great details in the words. I see more than two sentences on a page. I see that you're telling how your character is, like what kind of personality does that character have? You're sharing that on the page. I also see great details in your pictures. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about something you could add to your pictures if you want, and then you can keep writing. So I want to point out something that I noticed in the Easter Bunny book. Remember the Easter Bunny's Assistant, that book that we read? One of the parts is where the rabbit actually pushes the skunk outside because the skunk is being pretty stinky. Right? And so you see that here they are in the room. They're going. You can assume the skunk is going to go out the door. And then on the next page, this shows us two perspectives. It shows us the Easter Bunny, who's in the room, talking to us. And then it shows the skunk, who is outside of the house, wanting to get back in. The artist chose to draw the skunk outside the house, which is just an interesting perspective. The artist chose to do that by putting the skunk outside and then drawing the window kind of like over top of the skunk. I have a page like this in my book. Maybe you remember the page where um, Mortimer decides to return all of the supplies that he stole. So he goes to Matilda's house. Now I spent a long time thinking about how I could draw that and what would be the best way to show that to my reader. So I decided to draw the inside of Matilda's house. Now obviously Matilda's house has four walls. You as the reader are looking at this and pretending one of the walls isn't there. Now, in real life, of course, it would be there. But sometimes when we show different perspectives, we do things like pretend a wall isn't there so that we can see more of what the author is talking about. So um, I show Mortimer walking up to the house and knocking on the outside of the door but I'm also able to show Matilda and Petey at the same time. Again, because I removed that wall just for pretend and you're able to see inside and you can see details like the tears on their faces. Now, do you have to show both inside and outside in one picture? No, this is just an idea for you to um, put some more perspective in your pictures. It's something that you can do if you're struggling with how to show two places at once it, when you're drawing the pictures for your story. So it's just something that you can think about adding. Continue writing your story today, and if you think that you're all done with your story, and you think you have a great ending, then you can be done with a book, you'll need to start another book then. Remember, after we finish one story, we always start another one. So, have fun writing today. I'll see you tomorrow.